Please, for the love of the sweet goats present above and below, do not harass or abuse anyone brought up in this video. Don't make goat dad sad, don't bully people on the internet, and most importantly, don't be a numbnut. Hello my sweet goats! Hello! Welcome, Welcome to Allie! <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to another episode of Internet Numbnuts. I am your super sweaty host, Bunty King, joined by your favorite Puerto Rican rat, Chris Raygun. Hello, it's me. We just spent uh, a, a good amount of time, you know, obsessing over a bunch of E3 shit. You know, I got in to LA on the 10th, and from that day onwards, we are pretty much just E3, 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 E3. And, uh... <laughs> just fucking burp like that. I can't fucking help it, man. This isn't on purpose. You're fucking fucked up, dude. You, I didn't fuck you have, up. You have problems. You're supposed to keep your fucking composure. This is supposed to be a professional I, set! I can't keep my composure around you when you're fucking burping like that. That's fucking crazy, man. It's rude, honestly. You know? Just gotta up with it, right? I invite you into my house. I invite you into my country. <laughs> <laughs> and you berate me for it. Anyway, we were really excited to kind of watch all the stuff around E3, and one of the most exciting pieces was The Last of Us. And I'm a huge fan of The Last of Us. I don't think Chris is. Chris, what's your opinion on The Last of Us? It was fine. I enjoyed it. It was fine. He enjoyed it. It's too, it's it's a it's a movie kind of. Yeah, and I like video games. I mean, it was a good it was a good vi video game movie, I guess. It had, it had good gameplay. There was some good gameplay it there. It was fine. The gameplay was fine. I think it gets too a, a bit too much of a you know a, like a deep throat kind of going on. I think a lot of people a lot of people are on, on its dick, and it's fair enough because the new one actually looks pretty 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 cool. Okay, well, I think it looks pretty good. I think you shouldn't disrespect The Last of Us anymore. Okay. And for the rest of this video, don't disrespect The Last of Us. Okay, you fucking rat. Bunty, I've had about the last of you. <laughs> Bad enough to hear, man. So one of the things I did was I immediately shared The Last of Us Part 2. I shared The Last of Us Part 2 trailer with my uh, with my friends and my family. Legit, I was like, this game is so amazing. Even if you don't give a shit about games, watch this fucking trailer. And then I went to go and watch it again. So I clicked on it, went to the YouTube link, and then I looked in the comments section. And boy, oh boy! Holy shit, are there some fucking neck beards around? They're ready. They wanna fuck- they don't like this fucking game. They're upset. They're upset because you gotta play as a lady. You gotta play as a fucking lady. What do you have- Are you okay? What? Do you have I'm as healthy as I've ever been. <laughs> What's going on? Are we gonna be looking through the, through the comments? No, do you have a problem with ladies and video games? No, no. No? Not at all? No, what? what? Are you sure? Actually, you know what? What? Massive problem. I'm actually sick of them. <laughs> I have to see one more soft skin. Uh, uh, so, you're gonna see a soft skin bitch. That's what you're gonna see. <laughs> soft skin bitch. I, I gotta see one more soft skin bitch. I'm gonna lose it. I'm gonna fucking shoot up a school. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta go. No, listen. We've had we've had girls in video games for a long time. Nobody gave a shit up until recently. Yeah, I feel like I feel like, I feel like people started giving a shit after. People started complaining about, about everything. Every, yeah, about everything. yeah. We had everything. like Beyond Good and Evil. We had Mirror's Edge. You know, these, these Tomb Raider. You know what? Here, Tomb Raider. Nobody flipped a shit, right? So what's up? I don't what's know. What's the man. big deal? I don't know, man. Heavenly Sword wasn't that a fucking launch title for the PlayStation? They were like, know, yo, man. Heavenly Swords. Entirely a chick. Okay, so now we're gonna just go ahead and look through the comments right now. Jack Space Piratey. Uh, there was one clicker in the beginning part. Plus, it's obvious the zombies are gonna take a back seat because the writers want to promote religious people as the bad guys. Remember the original re real trailer? Apostate Clipper Wings smells like leftist propaganda, if you ask me. They're what? They're upset because of the, uh, the, the religious connotations with the bad guys. I mean, bad group. What's why? I don't know. I guess, they, I guess people are kind of like, they just think that, you know, they're taking these like these crazy nut jobs during a post-apocalyptic piece and they're equating it with like real life. People. Why are you relating to religious psychopaths? I don't know, man. I so much so that you see yourself in them enough to like be like defensive. Be, be like defensive. Yeah, he's like he's really defensive. I've never I, like I never had that feeling ever. Like you remember when uh, Far Cry Far Cry Five when they had like the uh, the cultists or whatever? Yeah, yeah. What about it? Yeah, yeah. A bunch of people were flipping out about that. Oh yeah, it's true. It's yeah. true. Okay. We've had religious enemies aren't new. Like fucking Halo is built around it. Nobody flipped out about Halo. It's true. You're literally Halo fighting. Halo's literally like you're fighting against religion. Yeah. That's literally what the game is. Halo's. Whoops. 
<laughs> Halo's the deepest leftist propaganda ever. Yeah, Halo's like incredibly it leftist. It's done, but like, man, when I turned on Halo 2 for the first time, it was just like, it was straight up just a vagina for like the ten, first 10 minutes. Oh my God. It said pussy power, and that was it. Holy I was like, oh, shit. shit. Holy fuck! So are people flipping out about uh, the fact that you're playing as a girl, or are people flipping out because she's a lesbian? Because both of those things are, are weird because like, who cares? Well, first of all, who cares? But also, she she, she was already a lesbian in yeah. the DLC of The Last of Us. Yeah. And also, we've had like you know millions of I think, female. I think I think I think that these guys. <laughs> Look at what you guys have done to Chris. He's sick. He's sick because of you fucks. Seems like there's a lot of people that really want the clickers. This guy, Winterhawk, says, Clickers are staples of the whole universe, and Joel's the main protagonist of the first. Not showing either in this trailer means they got sidelined and aren't a big plot points, but this whole sequence would have been amazing if it ended on a clicker at the end, but it doesn't. Joel will likely show up, but won't be in a trailer, but clickers should. Hey, Winterhawk, I want you to understand something, okay? The clickers, the zombies, whatever you want to fucking call them, they were the backdrop of that game. That's what made the game so successful, in my opinion. It was the background. Any good zombie media typically has the zombies in the background, except for The Walking Dead, which is trash. I feel like this whole thread is loaded with new f***s. New f***s? Yeah. What's that? A bunch of guys who never played Last of Us, and they're just hopping and like, Ugh, I want zombies. You know, they never played it. They never actually played The Last of Us. If, if you have played The Last of Us, you appreciate this fucking trailer. That's all I have to say. It was pretty good. I still think, like, the intro with them at the dance is a bit too, look at me, I look at me, I'm a movie. Look at me. It, it looks we, amazing. Look I at love that. It. We, got two, we got two people kissing, and it doesn't look <laughs> as weird as it usually does. <laughs> It's true. It still looks that was weird. actually like not that bad of a kiss. It wasn't that bad. It really wasn't. Most kinda... video game kisses are kind of awkward, you know. Have you ever seen, you've seen the Mass Effect kisses? Mass Effect is so bad. Mass Effect kisses Mass Effect are the worst. Instead of clickers, we will have lickers. <laughs> like dog man. Was that like a, le a lesbian it's joke? Lesbian. It's so good. That's pretty good, man. It's good, dog man. That's good. Dog man's got it on point. Dog man's man. got it. Dog man. Dog man. Not actual gameplay. Life is strange. Called. They want their story back. I don't. I've never played the Life is Strange. They did what? Because it has like a lesbian in it. Yeah, that's it. It's, that's it's so got, stupid. Game's got lesbian. Can you imagine in it. if? You, wait a second. I'm pretty sure it's got right. a gun in it. There's a gun in it. In what? This game, Last of Us. I feel like Call of Duty's calling right now. Oh shit! They want their fucking game back. Call of Duty's calling. They want their game back, man. No, Doom, Doom called. They invented, they invented guns. Gears called, man. They have a cover system. Oh, oh shit! Oh shit, that's, man. That's the point. That's such a stupid, comment. such a dumb comment. It's like it seems like everybody who likes and hates this game likes and hates it because lesbian. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. It's like oh my god. That oh my god, it. yo! I get to I'll see sing. girls. Fuck! <laughs> I'm getting the last of us. Most <laughs> gamers, most gamers have to be virgins. I gotta admit. Or it's like, I'm pretty sure the overwhelming majority of people who play video games are children. Yeah, that's true. So they would kind of, I mean, I, I would hope, you know, yeah. I would hope that they're virgins. Yeah. yeah. Otherwise, there's some, some Catholic shit going on. Yeah, there's some But, uh, <laughs> <laughs> was that too much? That was great. That was Did I have to reel back? That was Yo, let me Catholic that ass, boy. <laughs> Good game, but why the lesbian scene? I ain't buying it. <laughs> You're an idiot. You're an idiot. Meddle the gamer. Meddle the rat. More like it. That's good. That's a good play on words there. <laughs> good gamer, rat. It's straight up. So fucking good, man. Ellie as a lesbian was the worst part of The Last of Us. You know what the worst part of The Last of Us was? The fucking story. That's insane. That's a terrible thing to say. I totally disagree with you. I just want to let my audience know that I disagree with this fuckhead right here. <laughs> don't don't agree with them at all. The worst part of The Last of Us was that it was uh, it was too too movie like. That was the worst part. Of it. Well, I mean, the, oh my god. It wasn't it wasn't fucking Ellie Mahinder, being a lesbian. Bro, Mahinder, did, El did Ellie being a lesbian really fuck the game up for you? Did it? Did you suddenly play the game and be like, oh shit, you know, this game sucks now. I, even though I enjoyed everything before. You're a dummy, Mahinder, you fucking rat. Look at this guy. LGBT everywhere with a broken heart. Poor guy. Poor. <laughs> <laughs> Broke my heart. He's like, fuck. It was like, wasn't it? Oh I'm my god. Here's the thing, right? I could understand this kind of like idiocy, right? If it was literally every video game at E3 mm -hmm. that was shown was like some kind of like backhanded kind of like a, hey we're woke type deal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it was literally the only one. Yeah, it's the only one I could So think of, yeah. like, calm down. 
This isn't like a huge wave of like, hey, we smack pussies together <laughs> for wokeness. It wasn't like, it wasn't, it wasn't E3. That wasn't what it was about. It was literally just. It was uh, literally one scene of one game. It was also continuity because people and know that continuity. Ellie's a lesbian. It's like, come on, man. Yeah, whatever, man. What a way to ruin a game. What's a way to ruin a game? I don't get it. What's the way to ruin a game? Or make someone a lesbian? I will say, I don't oh. think I don't think a lot of that trailer is gameplay. I really doubt we're gonna see that level of fluidity. That's one thing I will say. I'm dying. You know my dog called me a Within the first two minutes, I decided I wasn't gonna waste my money on this. This agenda is being pushed on people more and more, and frankly, I'm tired of it. Anthony, it's I one don't know. game. I don't it's, know what to tell it's you. One man. game. Uh, one game at E3. Calm, calm the fuck down. Anthony, man, you want to play a game without lesbians? You can play a game without lesbians. I'm pretty sure you can play Skyrim and not be a lesbian. I want to play a game that, that's covered in sweaty penises. That's all I want to play, and and manly abs. For I am a straight man. Look at this guy. He'll write, you know, the lesbian of us. <laughs> what the fuck, dude? That's not even creative. You're just literally just put lesbian in the fucking title. So the next thing we're gonna be talking about is this article from uh, Polygon right here. It's it's, uh, it's it's about some data from a feminist frequency that uh, indicates that uh, what was what, his headline? That the number of women in uh, women protagonists in E3 games still in the single digits. And it highlights a lack of progress, all right? Yeah. So if you actually look at the data right here, you have games by gender. They've split the games by gender of the C3. And guess what? 50% of them allow you to be either a guy or a girl or whatever the hell else. Yeah. All right? That's pretty uh, inclusive, actually. Yes, I would you know say what? so. I would totally say so. But they wouldn't They wouldn't say that. Yeah. Of course not. We've not made progress in the last 200 years, actually. No. I'm still... <laughs> I'm, I'm still... <laughs> Waiting for someone to come up with something better than penicillin. That's great. Because I'm slowly bur I'm slowly deteriorating from the inside on account of my gout. Of course, they chose to go ahead and highlight the fucking 8% female part. But they don't really spend time talking about the fact that some of the biggest games we're looking forward to in the coming years have female protagonists. Which ones? I don't know. There's this one game called... Uh, it's called... Uh, something about Last of Us. What's that? It's a game. Oh, yeah? Yeah, you play as a, a, a chick who happens to be a lesbian. Didn't they have uh, uh, Horizon Zero Dawn, too? Oh, my God. They, a couple of years ago. Yeah, that wasn't, that, wasn't that a big game as that well? That was a big game. I didn't like it. Tomb Raider? I mean, what? There's Tomb Raider coming like, out? Yeah, I like Tomb Raider, too. There's been, there's been three Tomb Raiders. Wow, wow. And they're all, they all seem to sell quite well. They seem to sell well enough to actually, you know, you warrant a, a third one. Yeah, have a franchise. Yeah, it's crazy. It's kind of crazy how, like, these games that have female leads t tend to do well. It's interesting. God of War was like the only one that I can think of actually in a while that had a strict. That was like straight up attack. macho, like yeah, straight yeah. up macho I guess male. Doom also, but like yeah. you didn't really. Like, you, you don't really care Doom's about. Doom's kind of like just like you're just. It's, you're a guy. It's not really a protagonist. You feel like you're the guy. You yeah, feel yeah. like you're a Doom guy. You're, so if you're yeah. like a chick playing, you can easily like put a girl in there. Yeah, yeah. But sure. like, yeah, I, I feel like there's Tomb Raider, there's uh, The Last of Us, there's Horizon Zero Dawn as of recently, and like most of the big games. Again, are like Fallout or Elder Scrolls or Division or Destiny or Anthem, yeah, which is coming out. Is, that's a big one. Mult and multi-gendered. You can just be whoever the fuck you want to be. You can be as strong or as weak as you want to be. It's really just that simple. <laughs> that's if you want to be a shit at the game, you can be shit at the game. So it just kind of sucks that the media routinely pushes this narrative when there is actually a lot of progress in my opinion. There is a lot of like, a, like women are welcomed in this space of gaming. You're allowed. You got some sick titles, bro. You have them. They're right there. All right, enjoy them. And you know, fuck the 8%, all right? That makes no sense. It doesn't matter. Focus on the 50, it, allowing you to do whatever the fuck you want to do. It really highlights how few problems there are. Like, like 50% of them have no forced uh, yeah. anything. Yeah. So like the idea that like they would focus on such a minute problem kind of indicates the exact opposite. It also there actually has been like a lot of a, a tremendous amount of like inclusivity in it, gaming. And the problem is that like you they'll they'll go to like you know what they'll do? They'll go to like the Last of Us uh, comment section and they'll 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 do what we just did, right? They'll go and they'll oh, pick yeah. through that. It's like, this is the entire industry. <laughs> Everyone's like this. This guy, uh, Pussy Licker, 69, he, he, he's, he's, he's representative of 
every single gamer. Yeah. And the other thing that I really can't help but think about is, is when people make a graph like this, this beautiful, colorful graph, and they put a color to specific parts, they actually do see themselves that the industry allows for a variety of options, but then they have to willingly go and focus on that little tiny 8%. They're like, oh my God. It's like they're trying to shut it out from, they're like, they're trying to like, they're like, hey, it's fucking weird, huh? Fucking the new gears. Oh also, yeah, gears. Yeah, new gears. Fucking gears of you war. You play as a chick. Gears of war, you play as a chick. Yo, calm the fuck down. <laughs> Are you fucking <laughs> kidding me? I totally forgot about that. I forgot about it too. I did, I did. And that is it, my sweet ghost, for this episode of Internet Numbnuts. Uh, thank you so much, uh, Christopher Ray Maldonado, for joining me. Did you just fucking dox me? I fucking dox the fuck out of you, bitch. Get ready. Get ready. Uh, thank you so much for joining me. And thank you for joining us. This is awesome. All right? Uh, uh, I'm really looking forward to The Last of Us 2. I think that Chris is too, even though he didn't really appreciate The Last of Us 1 as much because, well, he's an asshole. But, uh, uh, but look, look, if you guys enjoyed this video, feel free to go ahead and leave a like. Make sure to hit that subscribe button. And of course, hit the bell icon to get notified. If you do want to support me and provide me with life, consider becoming a patron for as little as a dollar a month. And guess what? The moment you hit that pledge button is the moment you realize that you, yes you, aren't a fucking racist. Can you shut the fuck up? Someone's yelling out there. I do apologize. I do apologize. <laughs> Thank you guys so much. Once again, thanks, Chris. And uh, and uh, I'll catch you guys soon. Of course, you guys know where the you know who the fuck Chris is. Okay, if you don't know who he is, what the fuck's wrong with you? Please go ahead and hit him. Hit the hit him with the sub. Hit him with the sub. I don't know why I need to shout this guy. You know what I've been thinking? What? I don't know. Bye.